Hi, this is Sweet June 2010. Um, whew, can't get over how beautiful it is. Um, oh, how cool! I've seen two people in a golf cart. That's cool. Anyway, I wanted to talk about. Um, been doing a lot of thinking. Been debating on whether I wanted to cover this subject that I want to talk about or not. Because um, it's going to involve me telling a little bit of my personal business. <laughs> um, but I think it's very important. I think it's, I think it's very important that I get the message out. And as I tell you guys, I'm, I just don't come on here and just rant and rave about random stuff. I talk about what I'm passionate about. But I also like to come on here... And witness to you guys because you know that's part of my um, religious part of my beliefs and so I also like to come on here from time to time and witness to you guys and um, um, you know be a fine witness um, and I just think it the way the world is going today um, I think it's important that I get this message out to people particularly to young people so um, it's going to involve me putting my little, my business out there a little bit. But if it's, if I can change one person's life, what the heck? I've done a good thing. And what I want to talk about is I want to talk about uh, celibacy. This is what this video is going to be about. It's going to be about celibacy, um, abstaining, abstinence. It's very important, you know, as I've said in my other videos, and um, it says in the Bible that um, fornication is a sin. And I've stated, you know, be quoted before or, or stated before in my other um, videos that I'm, I am one of Jehovah's Witnesses. And um, since I've been a, wit a witness, I mean, I, I think if you're in any religion, uh, whether it's Baptist or Catholic or whatever, if you're dedicated to serving God bottom line I mean if you're dedicated I mean I just feel like my religion is the only true religion but um, I should feel that way I don't think I should be in it if I don't feel that way however um, <laughs> um, but whatever you are a Baptist Catholic or whatever if, if you're dedicated to serving God then you should be you should be abstinent if you're single and you're not married then you should be abstaining until you're married because that's what the bible says you know it's god's word so um i think it's very important especially in today's and i and, and like i tell my sons all the time you know you know god doesn't he's not trying to restrict us by telling us you know that he doesn't want us to have sex outside of marriage he's not trying to restrict us um it's a it's a protection you know at the end of the day it's a protection he's simply trying to protect us because when you think about it there's a lot of there's aids out here when you think when i think of all the things that can that can happen as a result of having sex outside of marriage then I, when I meditate on that, then I truly understand why Jehovah God hates it. And he doesn't want us to do it. Because when you think about diseases, and you know AIDS is uncurable and you can die of it. Then there's herpes, and there's other, you know, sexually transmitted diseases that you can get. And um, there's uh, unwanted, unplanned and unwanted pregnancies. That occur, that occur as a result of having sex outside of marriage. Um, if it's in a situation where you're married and you have sex with someone other than your spouse, well, that's adultery, you know? And we all know what how damaging adultery can be, you know? Um, it breaks up families. It, it, it devastates the children. Um, leads to broken hearts, you know. Um, sometimes it takes people years to recover from being in a marriage where a spouse has committed adultery. 
and the marriage broke up as a result of it. So it, it's very devastating. It could be very devastating to a marriage. So I know um, I've been abstaining now for um, all, about 10 and a half years, a little over 10 years. I've been abstaining. And um, actually, I started abstaining before I became a witness. But when I first started made the decision to abstain was just simply because I was waiting on the right man to come along, you know, wasn't necessarily waiting for marriage. And then I started studying to become a witness. And um, right, you know, it really, my couple years or so into my study, my studies, I decided to go that extra mile and abstain until marriage. So I, I studied for five years before I became a witness. So, you know, I made a decision to up, abstain until marriage. And so I've, I've been abstaining now for uh, a little over 10 years. And I tell you, I have to, I have to give you a, a testimony. I, I tell you guys, it's the, this, that's probably the best decision that I ever made in my whole life. It's the best decision that I ever made to abstain. Because um, because of me abstaining, I don't have to worry about getting a, a sexually transmitted disease. I don't have to worry about, I didn't have to worry about uh, an unplanned pregnancy. You know, I didn't have to worry about being used. You know, having someone just using me for sex. And I think it's like I say, it's the best decision that I could have ever made. Uh, Dedicating my life to God was the best decision. Becoming celibate was the second best decision that I've ever made in my life. And I tell you, I, I love it. I mean, I, I feel so good about myself. You know, my self-esteem and my self-worth has skyrocketed. You know, I feel good about myself. I mean, I know I'm not out there putting myself out there, you know, put myself at risk. I'm not letting guys use me, you know, take advantage of me. And um, it's just it's just a beautiful thing. It's a wonderful thing. And if I ever do find the right person, he's gonna he's gonna be um, very grateful, you know, to the fact that he's getting someone that, you know, is ser serving God, dedicated to serving God and, and abstaining. And he, you know, and he's gonna know that you know, I'm just not out here just putting myself out here like that. And so, yeah, well, I'm not a virgin, but well, that's obvious. <laughs> but, I, you know, in a sense, I feel like a virgin again, you know, believe it or not, because um, it's, it's, it's the most wonderful thing. Um, and I encourage, I highly encourage, particularly the young people. Um, this message is really, I want this message to really get out to the young people. Um, especially the young ladies, abstain. Save yourself till the right person comes into your life. You know, if, if, if you're not trying to be a Christian, you're not trying to serve God, do it for you. You know, do it for you. Abstain for you. You know, you're, you're, you're special. Your body is, is sacred. Save yourself for someone that is worthy of your body. Not every man out there is worthy of your body. Let him, let him put a ring on it. As Beyonce, let him say put a ring on it. Let him put a ring on your finger and let him marry you first before he um, does anything to you. Let, let a man earn that. You're supposed to let a man earn that. I'm going to do a part two of series on this. Uh, Cause I don't know how much time I have on my video, but I'm gonna do a part two, so stay tuned. I'm gonna talk about this some more. Sweet June 2010.